Hello everyone, this is me Abdul Sabur uh, from Anglio City and the topic that we are going to talk about uh, today in this very specific uh, lesson is going to be about a very important topic which is silent letters. Now what are silent letters? In English language there are a lot of words that contains silent letters or silent alphabets right and that's why we normally mispronounce few of the words such as in this word foreign i have noticed uh, so many of my students right and being an english language instructor most of the time students commit uh, mistakes in order how to pronounce a word such as foreign they pronounce it as foreign just the last week I heard a student pronouncing at foreign well that's not their mistake because English language is very annoying in pronunciation because 60% as I said 60% of English vocabularies has the silent letters right so students are normally having confusion and English pronunciation can be very frustrating and it can be very challenging for the beginner learners of English language like until and unless they have not heard that word right if you if they just read that word and pronounce it so they mostly mispronounce those specific vocabularies which are have which are having the silent letters well so in this very specific tutorial and in upcoming two more videos as well because uh, silent letters I'm going to teach you people about the rules and regulation that when is A going to be silent when is B going to be silent tell Z uh, all the English alphabets or having the silent letters and some of the words they are not pronounced and some uh, of the words they are pronounced so I'm going to be teaching you people about when are they pronounced and when are they not pronounced so well let's take start with the very first word which is a the very first letter which is a now when is a going to be silent a is usually silent when it is followed by double L Y. Logically, basically, and artistically. Now, I've heard most of students pronouncing uh, basic, basically. Basically, they pronounce it basically, right? Why? Because they do not have knowledge about the silent letters. Now, A is going to be silent whenever it is followed by double A, Y. So, it is not logically, it is logically. You have to cut that A letter. You have to cut off that A letter from this word. And that's how it's pronounced as logically, basically, and artistically. Or we say automatically. Now, this word is mostly pronounced by the English learners as automatically. So, they have to pronounce it as automatically. Automatically. Why? Because the letter A is going to be kicked off out of this word, right? Well, moving on towards the letter B. Now, when uh, the letter B is going to be silent, the letter B is going to be silent when it is before T. For example, saddle or debt. Now, in the word saddle and debt, the B is going to be silent. The letter B is always silent when it is after M, such as in the following words, climb, climb. The B is going to be cut off the sentence, climb but students mostly pronounce it as climb so it is not climb it is climb the b is going to be silent because it is after m in the next word we have comb comb we normally we say comb my hair so the b shouldn't be pronounced why because in English pronunciation and specifically in silent letters B is going to be silent because it is after M so B is usually silent when it comes after M in the other examples such as bomb 
we say bomb it's not bomb b is silent bomb or we say plumber plumber it's not plumber it's plumber plumber the b is silent because it's after m so well that was uh, about the letter b moving ahead the letter c the letter c is usually silent when it is after s the letter C is going to be silent when it is after S, such as in the example fascinating. Fascinating. We don't say fascinating. We say fascinating. Now, fascinating refers to something which is interesting, right? So the letter S is uh, sorry. The letter C is silent. Why? Because it's after S. And other examples such as muscle and seen we also have the silent uh, letter which is c and c is followed by s so c is usually followed when it is after s now moving ahead towards the letter d when is the letter d going to be silent all right the letter d could also be silent when it is uh, before n or g in the following example, we have the word Wednesday. Sorry, it's not Wednesday, it's Wednesday. Yes, most of the students, they pronounce it uh, with three syllables, such as Wednesday. So here, the D is before uh, N, right? So that's how it's going to be silent. It has to be pronounced as Wednesday. Wednesday. It has to be pronounced with two syllables, I mean with two sounds. Wednesday. The letter D is also for, uh, silent when it is before G. Such as the examples we have knowledge. Now in knowledge and in uh, the other word which is bridge. In knowledge and in bridge these two words uh, the D is before G. And whenever the D is before G, so D and G are the consonant sounds. So here we have consonant clusters. Now what are consonant clusters? Cl cluster mean the combination of the consonant sounds, such as the D and G are going to be pronounced as J. Knowledge and bridge. Well, the letter D is also f uh, silent in some of the words such as sandwich so it's not sandwich it's sandwich sandwich or the other word is handsome handsome the d is going to be drop in this word and that's how it's not handsome it's handsome well moving ahead towards the next letter which is e now the letter e is uh, silent when it is usually at the end of a word such as apple or hope so we don't say apple or hopey we say apple hope or the other word is cake so you have to cut off the letter e moving ahead towards the next word which is the letter g now the letter g it can also be silent when it is before n such as in the first example I gave you, which was foreign. So here, G is before N. So whenever G is before N, G is going to be silent. Such as in the other examples are sign. Or we have design. Now the letter G can be quite confusing because it can also be silent when it is with H. Such as hi h i g h we say hi the g h is silent we say hi or we say light l i g h t we say light the g h is going to be cut off of the sentence 